Are you tired of listening to relationship advice? You hear things like seven reasons why your relationship will not thrive or five things you must do in order to have the perfect relationship. <laughs> well, 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 in this video, I'm going to tell you just one thing that you can do starting from today that would tremendously change your relationship, make it mutually benefiting, healthier, and even more harmonious. I know in your mind, you'd be like, hey, what do you want to talk now? We will never hear before, eh? okay here you go open-mindedness honestly the moment you become more open-minded in your relationship everything is going to change because when you're open-minded it means that you're willing and you're ready to grow we live in a world that is constantly changing so your willingness to be able to change to be able to move is something that is going to help you you know, if you're open-minded, then you'll be willing to walk through whatever it is that is happening in your relationship. If it means going for therapy, listening to that podcast or reading that book together. If your wife is saying, or maybe your husband is saying, honey, let's listen to this person or let's read this book. I think it's going to help us. If you're an open-minded person, you won't have any issue welcoming new ideas. So your willingness to be able to accept new ideas, adjust from where you are, it's going to help you a whole lot. You shouldn't be saying things like, hey, my parents were married for 50 years. Did they do any therapy? What are you telling me therapy for? Well, that was then. Their time was different. Now it's different. So we need to understand that things are constantly changing. If it means going for therapy, if it means reading a book, if it means going on that trip, whatever it is, as long as you're open-minded, you will not have any issue doing any of these things because it's going to help you. This is one thing that has helped me. The fact that I'm still married today is because I became more open-minded. Before getting married, I had a lot of head knowledge. I think I've said some of these things in my previous videos. Like there are things that I think that are, you know, just static. This is the way it has to be which one you they talk maybe so did they do and maybe so it's supposed to be you know but because i became more open-minded i was not willing to unlearn some things and learn new things that has like seriously helped me so being open-minded is a whole lot and i'm not saying you should start you know spreading your issues and telling anybody that cares to listen that you're having problem or anything no far from it this is a commitment you make between you and your spouse you make a commitment and decide that okay fine we're going to make this work Whatever it takes between the two of you, deciding that you're going to listen to each other. If you're the type that is always shutting down your spouse, or maybe you're a man, every time you be saying, my friend, shut up, what are you saying? What do you know? Listen, my parent, listen, my uncle, listen, my this, my that. I think it's time for us to take a different approach altogether. There's this popular quote that says, what struck my boat might sink your ship. So comparing your relationship with that of any other person, even if it's your parent, is very, very wrong. Because they are different individuals in different times, experiencing life in a different way. So your ability to adjust, listen to your spouse and work on it is going to help you. You know, the funny thing is that marriage is not really an achievement. Yes, and it's not mandatory. God did not mandate it anywhere and say, yeah, you must marry. If you don't marry, you're not going to heaven. No, 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 no. But you know what they say again, whatever is worth doing is worth doing well. So if you decide that you're going to do it, why don't you do it well? Why would you do something haphazard? If you decide that you're going to go into marriage relationship, then it should be rewarding. It should be healthy. It should be mutually benefiting. I have come to realize that you can have all of the money, all of the affection, the affluence, the connection, just name it and still fail in marriage. Some of these very popular relationship coaches will tell you that most times when people come to them for counseling and decide that they want to get a divorce, most times, most times they're still very much in love with each other. It shows that they think that they have differences that are not reconcilable. So if all of these things is not going to guarantee that you have a rewarding relationship, then I think being open-minded is going to help you a lot. And it even goes beyond marriage relationship. Even your relationship with your children, with your friends, with your colleagues, everything, if you're open-minded, if you're not the type that tries to, you know, force your opinion down the throat of others, if you're an open-minded person, trust me, you'll be willing to listen to people and accommodate their opinion. Because at the end of the day in this life, we are all different in our own unique ways. The way you see and perceive something is entirely different from the way I'm going to see, perceive it, and even interpret it. Whether it's a marriage relationship, relationship with other people, or anything, anything that has to do with interaction with people, as long as you're an open-minded person, it's going to help you a lot. Please like this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.